Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's select this map layer. This is Illustrator file. Let's move to inside our conversation. And right now, select layer, go to layer and click auto trace and right now i will use channel alpha and click this checkbox for apply to new layer click ok so select this map and let's delete select this auto trace let's hide here and create new solid layer for element 3d let's add name element 3d and click ok go to fx video couplet and element right now let's open here and I will use mask. Let's click here. Let's select path layer one. Select this auto trace layer. Back to scene setup and click extrude. Okay, nice. So we can change settings here. For example, let's change bevel scale. Okay, not bad. So in this time, select rotation icon and change rotation like this. OK, and click Move Tool, go to Presets, and let's open Fiscal folder and use Black Outline. OK, click Environment and see back to Image, and let's go to Environment, Basic 2K or Backlights. OK, let's use, for example, this. OK, so click OK, and go to open first group and let's create null and click for create. Select null, press R and change X rotation like this. OK, we can animate this map with this null object. OK, so in this time, let's go for a second and change rotation like this and like this make new x and y and z rotation go to here and change rotations like this okay back to first second let's try change rotations like this so let's hold shift press p make new passing keyframe and go to first second and let's move the back Select all keyframes, make easy or click F9. Let's see. Okay. So in this time, let's go to 8 seconds. Press N4, select work area. And let's try change rotation like this. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's select last few frames, move to here for six seconds and select work area. Okay, that's good. So in this time, go to element 3D, go to scene setup. And let's go to create. And let's create new cylinder and change scale. Let's move to up, change scale again. Okay, and let's move to here and put inside to map. And let's move to here. Okay, let's add material, go to presets and open physical. Let's use bright light and open cylinder select this material and change color to blue click ok and let's put inside a little bit okay so in this time let's duplicate this layer select this cylinder module and control d for duplicate let's move to here again control d move to here 
and again control D for more dot layers ok let's select these two and move it up and move it down ok again let's select this cylinder and control D let's move to here again control D move to here and again let's move to here ok enough so in this time select these cylinders let's close settings for materials like this and in this time select this group folder and click here for create new group and let's move to up here and select these cylinders let's move the inside new group here ok and let's close and select this new group let's move the inside old group ok so select these dot groups let's go to aux channel change channel 2 and select this main group change aux channel 1 click ok and let's go to aux channels and open channel 2 ok right now let's make this keyframe and let's press U for CJ frames and let's move to right and change this 0 dead 0 1 let's see nice select three frames make easy let's animation okay not bad and let's select three frames move to here And let's move to right. Okay, nice. So select element 3D and let's close these settings. Go to render settings and open lighting. Let's change light here cinematic. Let's see. Okay, and open physical environment. Click show in background. And let's open rotate environment. Change environment like this. okay not bad we can try change environment a little bit like this okay so let's change expose here for more lighting and gamma ok and let's select these rotation keyframes and hold control let's double click left mouse again click left mouse let's see ok nice and let's change some rotations Okay, let's select these three frames it's my mistake okay nice and in this time let's create new camera click ok and let's right mouse go to camera let's create orbit null and hold control double click this second for move to anchor point center click session tool and let's press p make new passing three frame go to last second and let's zoom to like this let's move to a little bit and select these three frames make easy go to graph editor select these graphs let's make graph like this nice and back to three frames 
Okay, and let's so in this time let's select this elementary layer, Control D, and let's go to FS Presets, search Effect Glow, and use Glow for elementary layer. Change name, elementary D Glow, and change Glow settings. Okay, let's select this elementary glow, open physical environment and close background image and change glow like this. Okay, this is not bad. And we can change opacity. Let's press T and change opacity like this. Let's change 80. Okay, that's good. And let's change quality to quarter. Select this camera. Let's open inside. Camera options. Click default field. And change aperture 200. And focus distance. Let's change distance like this. And then this time, make focus distance keyframe. Go to here. And change distance. Like this. Let's see full. Okay, let's change blur layer 200. Okay, that's good. And let's change quality quarter. Right now, make Fox distance three frame. Go to here and change distance like this let's change aperture 100 and go to here change again distance let's see full okay that's good okay let's see nice looks good so friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.